Oh, right. The L green in the back. Oh, man, you got that. So the first one we was doing was, um, I don't want to be your first? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. You ready? I'm ready. Oh. Hold on. Can you see me? Do I need to scoot over? I don't want to uh -huh. get too close. You, you can't see yourself? I don't know. You can't? Yeah, that's me. You, can't, you know why? Because it's over there. But I, I have a good visual. I'm just, I'm dark. So I blend it with the pavement. I ain't know if that was me or the thing. Boy, no. That's not. <laughs> you gray or something. <laughs> Going in blue for sure. <laughs> oh, the rap. All right. Um, you like, you showed up and I'm like, what's up, people? Um, through J.I.'s, we had it again with some uh, lesbian truth. Just some truth, period. Um, and as y'all know, I know y'all recognize that face. That's my big twin. What's good? <laughs> what a dirt? How you dirt? So stupid. And um, the topic of this one is I don't want to be your first. Hell no. <laughs> I had to pause after that one because you, you had a thought. You, it triggered some memories. Uh, yeah, a lot. But I'll, I'll let you go first since it was pretty much. Um, the topic was basically your idea, so it's only fair that you start. Help me understand something. Help, help me understand something. Help me understand something. This is what I'm. This is what I'm trying to understand. There's a difference in between being confused mm -hmm. and just a uh, downright don't know what the fuck you want. And I think a lot of females, you know. They're not confused. They're they're very sure or assertive of what they want, but when they see just how serious the lifestyle is, mm. then they clunk out. <laughs> and it's like all that energy I put into your ass, everything just mm -hmm. all falls apart. Right. You know, fifty cent. Just what the fuck. So I'm 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 not understanding it. I don't want to be your first one. You stupid. I'm gonna be real with you. I got to sit up on this motherfucker shit. We got the Jodeci in the back, right? You know what I'm talking about? Got the, this is not wine, it's cranberry juice. <laughs> Keep it very healthy. That's I know good. I'm smoking, but it's still healthy. Communion. <laughs> you right with the crackers, that's son. You ain't bring me no crackers, though. That's <laughs> cause, you know, you be moving around in the train trying to pick the biggest one. <laughs> You know, <laughs> like, psh, don't touch that one, that's mine. But, um, but anyway, you know what I'm saying? Um, just the thing, I, I, I don't, I don't want to be your first one. I don't, because it's, it's too stressful. You take all of the energy that you have and the knowledge that you have in this day, and you try to transfer it for the good, because there's a lot of misconceptions about the gay life. There's a lot of misconceptions about lesbians. Tons. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know I hate that stunt shit. The titles? Yeah. I can't stand that. You're a lesbian. If you're a woman that likes a woman, you're a lesbian. Yeah. So leave it at that. Don't go profiling studs, soft stud. What the hell is a soft stud? That sounds like a soft shell taco. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just Quote unquote, a soft stud would be maybe someone like myself. Or um, if you want to categorize. Oh, you, you mean the cats like us that's not afraid to express ourselves or show our right. sensitive side and more technical that don't walk around with my strap OD? Right. Um, on? Right. On. That shit hurt. I don't like it's so no. uncomfortable. Like, I don't yeah. know. Because I don't. And my thing is, no, no disrespect to the people or to the women that feel like they are supposed to be men. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because they do have the to lesbians each out own. there. Right. And I'm not knocking that because. You, whether you feel like it's you going this way or whatever, the, whatever, I'm not even gonna get on that. But uh, it's like I don't know the the, the, the titles and all that. Yeah. You know, that's you crazy. know I'm, I'm AJ, you twin, right? You like girls, yeah, women, girls, women. girls, girls, girls. You so stupid, you know, plural with an S. You so stupid, you know. But yeah, but this, this this first the I think the main thing or the main problem I think it is is that. The curiosity, it, it be there. Mm -hmm. And it's like, some of the women, it seem like they want to jump head first into the lifestyle. Like you said, thinking it's going to be, I don't know why they would think it would be a, a joke or a game or easy or easy. Because it's like, I, I always give them the example of taking a, um, a female and her mother and sisters staying in the same He's house. going to clash. It's so just that, example. right, just that small little example should let you know. That should give you some type of glimpse into the world of pretty much the world of a lesbian because it's like, dude, 
not even even if you're not staying together with your lover, but just the a, a daily interaction with another female. There, there's no way, and there's no way that it's gonna go on for so long and not have not one issue. I mean, first of all, y'all two different people, so you're gonna disagree on a lot of things. Yeah. Two different people with two different viewpoints. Right. So that's that right there. Mm -hmm. Then we women. Everybody have cycles and, and mood swings and whatnot. And I when mine really come. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and you know you gotta remember for every oh, every God. person, even even with males. Every person has about four different personalities to live. Yeah, you're right, lying. Depending on the mood, the right. weather, mm -hmm. the situation that they're going through, right? Life exactly. in general, right? So you can't exactly. expect, you know. I got Nikki. I'm gonna give you the credit on this one. I'm gonna give you the credit, baby. Shout out. Like shout out. Shout <laughs> out. You know what I'm talking about? Like my ex say, you cannot judge somebody else off of your yardstick. You come up short every time. Mm -hmm. So I can't expect you to do or feel or think the way that I do. Right. Because it's, it, it just doesn't go that way. That's a perfect world. So we're going <laughs> to we're gonna step outside of the realm of uh, fiction and, and just get to reality. <laughs> the reality of it is, bitches are crazy. You still, really? Women are crazy. Even us. No, I don't deny it. Even I don't us. deny it at all. We're crazy. We're okay. indecisive. From time to time. From time to time. We're indecisive. You know, you might you might want a hamburger right now and then a taco two minutes later. <laughs> so stupid. Depending but it on, is like that sometimes. You know, we, we really go by sight. If we like what we see, we'll pursue it. Right. You know yes, what I'm saying? And let's just touch on the truth right now, since this is lesbian truth. Mm -hmm. Gotta get my ups to my dog you in here. You be doing your thing, you know, you be doing your business. But truth is Women get mad because you don't tell them the truth, but the reality is y'all don't like the truth. You can't. They can't have it. Sometimes. No, you can't. It's it's like damn if you do and damn if you don't. Because if I don't tell you the truth, I'm gonna be lying to myself because I'm gonna be in a relationship unhappy because I can't voice my opinion. Because every time I tell you the truth, you go ahead and do a 360 <laughs> and flip it out on me like it's all my fault. Knowing damn well. You you share part of responsibility in this mess that we in too, right. but you just won't take your share. But it's okay. It's okay. Just don't ask me to be your fuck first. <laughs> you know. Ooh, you know what's crazy though? The for the women that come in, assuming that it's gonna be. I, I can see points where they will. I, I can see uh, you know a portion of why they will think it's, it's gonna be like a, a regular quote relationship with a man or whatever. Um, but I be like, you have to, like I said, keep in mind, there's two women. And then on top of that, you're really not sure what you want. You may just want to explore. You might just want to see what it's like. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But to try to go into it and like, you know, want a relationship and, you know what? It don't know how to, it don't know how it really go. Right. And I would feel much better. I'm direct, y'all. I don't know about nobody else. I just come out and say shit. My right. mouth has a mind of its own. <laughs> if that makes any kind of sense, yeah, I mean, that's how it is. And it's like, I would much rather for a, a female to approach me in the sense of, look, I can, I like, you know what I'm saying? I like what I see. Right. My mind is in a sexual mode right now, and I want to experience that. Exactly. Don't put, I want to be with, or can we explore the possibility. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, no. It's not gonna happen. Just be direct. Right. Okay. I can do that. It stays hard. You stupid. And if it breaks, you just go buy another. But anyway, <laughs> the point is, just be direct. Stop lying to yourself, man. That's the saddest thing when you when you meet somebody that would rather lie to themselves. And it's like, how do you go through life? I you just, same you are just totally oblivious to what's going on because you can't accept the truth. And you're lying to yourself. So you don't, in actuality, you don't even know you, but you want me to know you. And I'm getting confused trying to know you because you're switching up every goddamn five minutes. You're making me lose me. So wait a minute. We got a problem here. We got a problem here. So don't ask me to be your first. I don't want to be your first. I, I don't want to be the person that 
gives you that first impression of a lesbian relationship. Right. Because oh, man. this is the thing of, about, about firsts. Preach. Some firsts are lucky enough to experience being with their first the whole time that they're in a lesbian relationship to where they get married, adopt kids or have kids, whatever have you. But um, everybody ain't that lucky. You know? <laughs> this is the flip side of having a first. Right. This is the conversation after y'all break up. I'm gonna tell you this. This is the conversation after y'all break up between the female, between the feminine female. This this how it go. So girl, let me tell. You. I'm serious. <laughs> This how I go. I'm, I'm for real. I wasn't ready. I'm sorry. I, mean, I know. I know, right? <laughs> I wasn't ready my goddamn son. <laughs> but it's alright though. It's alright though. But this how I go. This is how I go. Right. So girl, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. Granny bitch is crazy. <laughs> She's fucking crazy. She gonna talk about um she love me and she care about me and all this here. You know what I'm talking about? And then every time I tell her something, she wanna come out and get all fucking philosophical on the bitch and shit. Oh my God. You know what I'm saying? And it's like I'm not even trying to hear that. Just tell me how to get out of my situation. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, um, you know what I'm talking about? And, and, and then she won't get mad because I got friends and everything and, and all this here. You know what I'm saying? I had friends before I met you. I had friends before I met you. She won't get married because I won't spend no time with her, but my friends come first. And it's us. Okay. Uh, all right. Because <laughs> okay. I mean, keep down confusion. You, you know, you, you know it's their first slide. Right. And you know it's their first time. You're trying to let them. You know, I, but see. <laughs> I'm being real. Fuck that. But then. I, I, them hoes ain't innocent. They grown as women. True indeed. But you know what I've noticed? And I just had this conversation. Shout out to you. I just had this conversation a few days ago with a good friend of mine. And it's like, it, it can take a, let's say for example, a 30 year old female. Mm -hmm. Nah, this woman starts having sex at about 16, give or take. Um, okay. I got three. I'm looking at my time, I think. Uh, we're gonna have part two, so you have to excuse us, and I'm gonna continue that story. So we'll be right back, part two. Okay. Cause this. All right. Okay. All right. Part two. I'm gonna be your first. Okay. So like I said, and uh, the end of part one. Thirty old female still having sex about sixteen. She's you know done fell in love with a couple of guys and had a little heart broken and went through the little period when she was uh, being a little promiscuous and living with a bunch of men and you know going through the whole little thing. Gets about 30 years old and she's she's always liked women and you know admired them and been like oh she's cute and but more recently into the 30 year old was like okay I'm starting to watch him a little too hard so maybe it's something you know so she has a little a, a friend or so and you know, they have a little, oh my God, we're gonna have fun, and we just, oh my God, we're drunk, and we're just gonna do this, and, well, I'm not a gay, I'm not a lesbian, but I just had fun with my friends, so she had a couple of experiences, but nothing serious. But then you meet somebody, you like, and, you know, you wanna see what it's happening for. So you go, get into a relationship, things are fine, beautiful, everybody's falling in love, so, um, and then, it's like, stop talking to boy. Cause life is over here doing what it do. And life starts just throwing stuff your way. You have financial problems, family problems, problems at the job, problems at home, problems. So of course, you know, we we just we reacting. Yeah, we're yeah. reacting to life situations and you know, things happen. So you're like, man, this is disgusting. I don't want this anymore. It's, it was fun. I was nine. I was hard. <laughs> Relationships aren't supposed to be hard. Oh my god, it's probably just hard because it's a woman. Like Really? Okay, well, so then, uh, you know, the female is like, well, maybe it's us. Maybe we just don't fit. Fit. Maybe we just don't fit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go school all these people in the lesbian community. I'm just going to go have fun. Warning. Dangerous. 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 Yeah, see, you can still catch diseases. Yeah. You can still catch bacterial infections and STDs from women from uh, uh, oral fingers and fingers. You know how much dirt is underneath your fingernail. Oh my. Okay. You can. All I'm saying is y'all still have to protect yourselves and think twice before you give yourself. That. You was about to go discover a channel. All of us. I'm saying. I want to. Hey, man. Just think twice before y'all give yourself 
to someone is how I feel about it. You know, sex is like you're giving somebody something that you can never get back. It's a part of you. So just be careful and make sure this person is worthy of getting a piece of your prized possession. Because you know they might give you something that you can't get back. You <laughs> Some of their prizes. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't that prize, but it's a possession. Okay. It's a possession. But like, really, so it's the woman. You know what I'm saying? You you, you step out to do what you want to do because you just want to explore. You want to see what's going on. And it's like that's your fine. first real relationship. That's fine, but at the same time, you got to think about the other person that's feeling. That. Yeah, everybody's feelings invested. We all in love. And then you hit me with the high track. I just want to go have fun. It was just well, nice. Why didn't you just have fun and instead of yeah. saying we wanted to you waste the time then, and energy and then we're doing then you want to choke the fuck. And uh -huh. then it's you know. So well, I was like, serious over now. I choke nah, you so <laughs> I don't want to be the first experience with a woman and I don't want to I would prefer not to be your first relationship with a woman. Because you really you don't, don't know, know what you want. You do, and and not only that, you really don't know the ins and outs. Right. It is it gets difficult. It's, it's not like, as uh, easy as it looks. I know it's the whole fad, and I'm sorry it's, to cut you off. No, it's, but like, it's, it's supposed to be a fad to be a, a lesbian. To be a lesbian, uh, right? You know, it's like, like the fancy moves, the piercings, yeah, and all that cool, tight clothes. That's, that's not cool. This shit is real. It's this real, shit right it's here, real this shit is real. You know, this yeah. people real life. It's real. Real feelings, and these are women. And you know, when women get hurt, forget about it. Like, All I'm saying, whether you're aggressive or whatever title you want to wear, you're still a woman deep down. You still have feelings. So when your feelings are invested in a person and they hit you with a high track because they just don't know and they wasn't honest enough for it. This, this was, was the latest hot track. track. This, was <laughs> the latest, this was the latest hot track somebody hit me with. <laughs> this was the latest. By the way, I am single. I am very single. And very faithful. But anyway, this is the hot track. I need you to put your female card up for a minute and act like a nigga. I mean, why not go get one? <laughs> That's my song. It, but what? Ain't no putting a female card up. Let me, 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 let you are a woman. That is what God created you to be. So it is in your genetics to have femininity, whether you like it or not. Whether it be on the 1st through the 30th, while you're going through what we go through every month. <laughs> if you still have that equipment to go through it, God bless all the ones that don't. <laughs> it is in our genetics to feel. It is in our genetics to express ourselves. Women are feelers and men are thinkers. We react off of emotions. Sometimes we don't react well, but we react. It's, it's not anything that you can control. So therefore, how dare you insult me as a creation of God to tell me to put my female card up and act like a nigga? I may dress this way. So talking about. I may even grab myself sometimes, but that's to fix my boxes because ain't nothing down there. Ain't nothing here, baby. Ain't nothing, it's detachable. You <laughs> Okay? So therefore, don't insult me or my intelligence by telling me you need to put your female heart up. This is the crazy thing about it. Most of them come to the, to the gay life because you want to get away from the way men hurt you and the way you couldn't express yourself and they didn't express themselves back and they didn't tell you what was going on in their mind. And then you get into a relationship where somebody is willing to break those boundaries although they've been hurt. Although they've been through all kinds of hell, because we true to this, and some of y'all new to this. But we know what it comes with. We know the material it comes with. We know what it's hidden for. But we try to give you everything that you needed, everything you wanted to fulfill, everything that you've ever desired. And then you turn around, and for the life of me, I can't understand why they mind going to nigga mode. <laughs> to where now the roles have reversed. Right. Instead of you being, you know, you being hurt like the nigga, you become the person that hurts people. Yeah. You take all your anger and your frustration out on a person that really loves you. The closest get the most is the damn. The abuse become the abuse hurt becomes the people, abuser. Hurt people, hurt people. And I don't understand that. Because that's what you was just running from, right? right. So I mean what the hell? Do you want me to slap you around? Do you want me to call you a stupid? <laughs> some bitch? of them do. Burn burn you with a you know, I think honestly I think some of them do. Slap, slap you on the ass, burn you with a cigarette. I mean <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I mean what some women like that. That's oh my goodness. My my, 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 my,
No, I'm okay. Good. I need my win when I'm oh doing that. Goodness. No, but it's it's just the point, ladies. You know what I'm saying? Just uh, get it together, man. Cause really, we don't. I don't want to be your first, cause I don't have time to raise a grown woman all over again. Thank you. I don't you have. I don't have time. You know what I tell them? My line is, I, I'm. You know, I'm a veteran in the lifestyle, almost retired. Like, and you're so, still a maggot. Right, you're stupid. <laughs> you're but still my a thing maggot. is, I don't want to take somebody through elementary, grade school, high school, like that. I'm going to have to teach you everything. Now, the sexual part of teaching, that's fun. Sometimes, yeah, definitely. That's fun. Definitely. But the emotional part and the communication part, it's, it's, it's hell. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's, it's a lot. I don't it want you to change lot. yourself or conform to making me comfortable and, no, I want you. I want you to be you, but just respect my opinion, respect my feelings, respect that I'm still a human being and not just your sex toy. And respect the lifestyle. Because if that was the point, you could have called. A, uh, 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 what do you call it? Hmm. You know, the people that you hire. The people oh, the, the, the escort, the escort service. service. Yeah. You could have hired an escort service and had all the experience and fun that you wanted, mm -hmm. and it would only last for a couple of hours. Right. And then you would have been done with. It. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So relationships are serious you know what I'm saying give yourself to somebody that is monumental man you don't you just don't hurt people because you feel like the world owes you something because everybody that hurts you is nice your turn to hurt everybody karma is bitch and I love that hope even while I'm going through it even while I'm reaping karma I still respect her because what you do to other people gotta come back to you sometimes it's tenfold sometimes it's a hundred sometimes it's a thousand really? and ain't nothing worse than a person that's going through and they know why they're going through but they can't admit why they're going through right. i just don't know why this is happening to me oh my god <laughs> and the whole while when they're saying that shit, their mind is like you remember this right. remember that maybe the fuck this best friend remember they you stupid. you know what i'm saying and you're but like you're right and you're like shut up i don't know why this is happening <laughs> i can't deal with you right. yep. so your time <laughs> My time is up, but that's all right. Y'all know where to get me at, you know what I'm saying? What's your baby name? Twin Just Me. Twin Just Me. On YouTube.com. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm on Facebook. Ask the Twin Boy Netter. Haven't gotten to the Twitter yet. I'm gonna get with my dude on that one. Why are you so but, uh, against Twitter and Instagram? Yeah, against Instagram? I no, I ain't against it. I just ain't been having time to do the shit. Oh, and I'm coming out with a book really soon. It's called The Manual. Because, you know, we always say why women can't be like cars and have a manual to them to know how to deal with them. So I'm gonna write one. Oh. And it's copywritten. The title is copywritten, so is the idea. So yeah. if you try to use that on my music, I'll come and fuck you. I'm fine. I'm fine. We out this thing. I don't want to be your first. I don't want to be your first. I don't want to be your first. You know how I let y'all. I ain't going to be your first. Meet me in the club. How about that? <laughs> we'll talk about it at the bar. Y'all be cool. Y'all be cool. And be nice to everybody. I try to be. And yeah. if you can't, just choke the piss out. Oh my goodness. We out. <laughs> oh my God.